Ministry of Education, Youth, and Sports, along with representatives from USAID, CAPE, and World Education, are dedicating a new technology lab for the students of Go High School in Kampong Cham Province. isn't your typical computer lab. In fact, all the ceremony today is mainly in honor of just one computer. This computer lab is a pilot developed by SCUP to test out a new technology called Thin Client Computing. In a Thin Client lab, instead of having 10 to 15 individual computers, you have 10 to 15 simple workstations that run off of just one central computer, or central processing unit, CPU. IT manager Sok Chana is the SCUP team member responsible for implementing this pilot project. He hopes that these alternative labs will make it more feasible and more attractive for Cambodia to invest in IT for its schools. Computers are really important for students in rural areas so they can develop their knowledge of new subjects. Computers are not used very widely in Cambodia yet, so many students will never have the chance to practice outside of school. Providing computers in this area lets students use technology, which can help them to write documents, do research, calculate, and find out about history better than only learning from a book. My own personal experience when I was studying IT at the university, I was only able to practice at school. I didn't have a computer before that, so I could never practice at home. Now these students have access in their high school. They have a good opportunity. Many schools in Cambodia still lack basic resources such as textbooks, teachers, and basic teaching supplies. So it's difficult for agencies to justify spending limited resources to provide computer equipment and instruction to students. However, knowledge of technology is essential for Cambodian students if they want to compete in today's professional workforce. And providing computers in schools can enhance traditional curriculum and keep students engaged. <laughs> I decided to teach computers because I think, besides English, an important skill students still need is computers. When they know computers, they can use this whenever they get a job. Nowadays, technology changes really quickly and we're in a modern society, so students have to learn computers so they can work quickly and independently. Until now, programs in Cambodia have focused on providing traditional computer labs to schools. But these programs have encountered many problems. Before, we worked with schools to implement traditional computer labs with CPUs, but they just weren't sustainable. The schools had to pay for maintenance and repairs, and then there was electricity, which cost, you know, somewhere from 80 to 100 dollars per month. Thin client labs cost less than traditional computer labs. Each thin client workstation costs only $145, compared to $480 for a traditional CPU. The thin client lab also uses LCD monitors, which are initially more expensive, but use up to 65% less energy. In total, this new setup can save schools over 40% in equipment costs. Thin clients reduce energy consumption by 88%, which makes it possible to power the lab with solar energy. The initial investment in solar panels is $5,000, compared with $30,000 for a traditional lab. Taking into account the savings on equipment, and the initial investment in energy costs, schools will still break even within just one year. 
Over the years, Thin Client Labs become even more cost effective than their traditional CPU alternative. In a traditional lab, any new software or upgrades must be purchased and installed on every computer. Because all the Thin Clients are connected to just one main CPU, schools can install and update software once instead of 12 times. This saves time and cuts the cost of upgrades and software licenses by over 90%. Finally, unlike traditional computers, Thin Clients are simple boxes with no moving parts. This means the units are less likely to have mechanical problems due to the dust, insects, and pests that are common in rural schools. For more information about our computer labs and other programs, please visit us online.